Well, I didn't expect to be doing a video, to be brutally honest, um, like this for a while, because I've not done one for quite a long time, but I think it's the appropriate time to sit down and talk to my, obviously, you know, my audience or my community or other people that find this video on YouTube. Um, it also, obviously, it gives you guys a bit of, obviously, help along the way for yourself and obviously tell you um my experience and what i've had to put up with but not only that i'm just proud to be able to talk about it as well because before i used to never be able to talk about it much because i just didn't really you know i never knew what to really say and i didn't know how to really express it but obviously i've grown older i've got a bit more wiser still not obviously you know i'm still maturing but i'm still quite mature to a certain degree and i think i'm a good person compared to what i used to be um but anyways um that's not the point to, obviously the point today is just to adopt, just you know just to have it in general conversation about it just to talk about it and that's what i want to do whether obviously you want to you know sit here behind a monitor your pc your phone your tablet your android whatever and watch this video by all means do so. If you don't, that's entirely up to you. I'm not going to force you to watch this video. I'm not going to, you know, back brag you to go watch this video. It's entirely up to you. But obviously, I would appreciate it if you do listen. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's quite a touchy topic to really touch on because it's not really the easiest of things to talk about. But at the same time, when obviously you've had to experience this type of stuff, it does over time become easier to talk about because obviously you get used to it and obviously you get to obviously express um a lot more to what obviously you could do before in the past and you know i'll, I'll take you back but a couple of years ago i was in a position where you know i was still quite young i'm still quite young now i'm only 22 but i was you know i was, I was only leaving like a couple of things but you know i used to have a really bad i wouldn't say I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call it anxiety because I can talk to anyone about it and in general I can talk to anyone but like I had obviously a really bad like just spell of just stuff going on in my head and a lot of different stuff were going around me and you know situations weren't the best obviously at the time and you know stuff weren't you know too good for Lordy but at the same time I had to you know deal with it. Obviously I got help um when I was younger, only a little bit. I didn't go to it much. And I think I only went once, if I can briefly remember. But, you know, I'm not going to go into details on why I went there and what it was for, because I don't need to go into details. It's just there, and it's happened. It's been done. I can't. You know what I mean? It's nothing that I want to talk about. But anyway, like, I, you know, I tried it, didn't enjoy it, and, you know, I just got on with it myself and just dealt with it. But, you know, everyone says to me when, obviously, you know, you're young or you're growing up, you know, everything happens for a reason. Now, I agree with it, to be fair. Obviously, before, I didn't really agree with it much because obviously stuff were bad, and I didn't really think about anything apart from that bad stuff, really, when I was younger. Um, But, you know, luckily enough, I've got a lot of good friends um around me, and, you know, I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot good. Well, I'm feeling a lot good. I've been healthier uh, mentally um compared to what I used to do. Obviously, I still do carry um, a bit of a dark um, persona in my head sometimes, only for different purposes, not actually in general. It's just for, you know, it's like before, I used to never really enjoy rock music and heavy music and stuff, but like now I love it. It's just, it's just in me. Um, you know, I love that stuff, and it's just good to be able to sometimes release a bit of energy by listening to it it's, it's not obviously you know it's not a calm relaxing thing to go listen to i know rock music and heavy metal but you know to be fair the good thing is it's not screamo i hate screamo i cannot stand screamo music i just can't just don't like it at all but you know there's that type of persona i keep to myself obviously when i when i need to keep it to myself but obviously i do you know i've had to learn and overcome a lot of bad stuff in the past and my demons if you want to call it that way i suppose the inner demons of lordy um but you know i as i said before if i did say before i can't remember fully say if i've got very bad memory but as i said before though i've got a lot of good people um around me good friends that are classes friends and 
people that care for me and obviously you know my community does care for me which i'm pretty sure they do because i care for them because obviously without my community i wouldn't be here today behind a camera talking to you all um so I'll obviously appreciate that because that's the only thing you probably get from me today out of that but it's 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 the truth um but yeah i say for stuff can obviously you know even now still be quite bad but i don't really take it personally um and affect me because i just don't think i need to talk about it because i don't i can just deal with it now because i can i've 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 got stronger um because so far i used to be really bad like my i could never emotionally keep it together sometimes i'd, I'd have like breakdowns up in left right and center it was shy like you know but stuff happens though stuff stuff in your life does happen and you've got to overcome it and just you know sometimes say it's probably not a good idea to swear but i'll say f you as opposed to it um and you just gotta take it and just beat it um you know you gotta beat those negative thoughts and you know i'm just very happy and you know I'm, I'm i'm happy because i've grown as a person compared to what i used to be i you know when i think about being younger i i used to just be a little shy i were i was a little shy i used to do stuff that i shouldn't do and you know i was still a good kid don't get me wrong i was still a good kid when i was a lot younger and stuff and you know trying to impress people and you know do the best what i can do to my ability which i still do now i still take for every single day i do try my best to do what i can um i'm not perfect no one's perfect don't even think yourself you're perfect because you're not perfect no one's perfect no one's the final article in your book it's true no one's perfect but still it doesn't even defeat the object and what i'm trying to say but you know as i mentioned before like you know when you feel that way sometimes you don't feel like yourself and i learned something because of this this is say for no one has ever told me before but i just think it's this way because i think it, i think this is true but i feel like obviously i am the only person that could live my life better than anyone else because i am the person in general are if that's if that is correct and that's the right that's the right way to put it i think i think so i'd say so but yeah like i said before though i'm the only person in my body that could literally do what i do better than anyone else because obviously i i know what i'm like i know what i like i know what i dislike i know what i'm scared of i know what i'm good at you know all this type of stuff and you know i don't see anyone else better than me in my own body and it's like your self behind the camera obviously watching this video think about it you are the only person that can obviously live your life better than you than anyone else because you are that person you know what you like and that's what you gotta realize sometimes and appreciate that. You know, I had to appreciate it a long time ago, and I do appreciate it now to be fair a lot more than I used to. I didn't really care much about myself. I didn't I just didn't really think about it much. I was like, oh, I don't care. But like now, I just I don't know. I just accepted it, I think, and you know, very It took time to do so, but I'm just happy to be able to say it now because it's just it wasn't easy back then and you know it's just very good to be able to talk about it because i just do and you know sometimes you're going to push through those barriers and you know there's, there's there's not a lot of people in this world that can push you on to do stuff every single day but i have got those people around me that, that do push me every single day to keep on going and pushing for what i want and you know there's dreams that i do try and dream for and i'll still try and chase them every single day whether, whether, whether they come true or not i don't know one of them is obviously it's not, it's not you know trying to become a millionaire it's never gonna happen but i accepted it a long time ago when i was like five but still that's you know what i mean like those type of things you've got to try and think about but it's like me though obviously i i wouldn't class myself as a content creator properly because i don't you know i'm not consistent enough because i do take some breaks sometimes but everyone needs a break not some you know doing videos on youtube but in general everyone everyone, everyone does need a break and it's good to be able to have a break because you can realize and you know just be appreciative of what you got around you and you know just do what you need to do sometimes but as i was saying though about obviously you know having the people around you i'm very lucky to have good friends around me that you know care for me and you know do stuff for me you know whether it's weekly daily monthly yearly decade whatever people have been there for me in the past and you know i've i've learned 
how to see people the way they are. And I know I've got a lot of good friends around me. And I've, you know, I've, I've, I've had a lot of bad friends that I've, you know, who I thought could be a good friend to me, but then not be a good friend because I, just, I can just see right through them. Uh, because they, they say for people, people go on about people being good for you, and you know they'll, they'll do this for you, they'll do that for you. But you can sometimes see through them, and you got to be careful on that. To be fair, sometimes with the way um, people do stuff for you, you know, if you if you can see something with them, then you know there's something wrong. But if you don't, then that's fine. But you know, I'm say for I'm lucky to have good people around me. Like say for a lot of people that I'm close with, like whether it's Matt. Scott, Adam, Callum, you know, Jack. There's a lot of other people I could go and name, but just a few to chuck out there. Just a few to chuck out there. You guys won't know who they are, but obviously I guarantee they'll probably watch the video and know. So thank you. Um, because I do appreciate it more than you probably think. Um But you know, it's just say for growing up's not easy because you know, you've got to you know, you, you you do a lot of overthinking about stuff and, you know, you you worry about what you're going to do in your, in your future and, you know, and stuff. But, you know, you, as I said before, you've got, you've got to try every single day to be, you know, at the best of your ability and, you know, try and just keep on pushing, whether it's a difficult day or a good day, you know, you just got to crack on and do what you need to do. But obviously mental health is a big part of obviously growing up and, you know, if you do, you know, if you don't find the right help, then it's going to be a big problem for you. That's my sort of, obviously, advice to you now. Um, you know, talk to your parents about it. It's not easy. Don't get me wrong. I've found it difficult when I was younger to try and talk to my dad and my mum about it. But, you know, I eventually did because I broke. Um, it wasn't easy um, because, you know, it's not good being able to talk to your parents whilst whilst crying I suppose to them about it because it was just you know bad stuff it's not I just never like really crying in front of my parents because I, I just think it's a bit childish but you know sometimes you've got to do that because you're not human if you don't cry I suppose in a way <laughs> otherwise you're a real lot if you don't cry in front of your parents there's something, there's something wrong with you because uh, you know, I know your parents will be there for you regardless of who obviously what situation they'll always be there for you so you know, you gotta, you gotta go and talk to them about it sometimes. But you know, I've tell you far though, grown up and I'm still learning daily to be a better person. And I think I am, to be fair to a certain degree. I can sometimes be a bit of an ass. Um and I'll admit that everyone can be an ass, but I know I can be an ass on my bad days, bloody hell. Me and work sometimes can be a different breed of person, honestly. When there's something going wrong in work God help anyone that comes in that office door because they'll be getting a they'll be getting a right for being mouth off me. It's never good, but you say for you, you you can't be human if you don't react. And you know I'm just say for I'm I'm just happy to be able to say I'm in a better mental state than I were, and it's good to be able to say that because it's not easy, not easy at all. Because uh, you know you can sometimes say for like there's a lot of old stuff on this channel like you've seen me talk about stuff and you know these videos and you can just see the way that i am and i'm you know i'm not say for i'm not well i am happy but I'm, not, I'm never happy anyway on the outside but inside i'm happy though but on the outside i can't be i just i don't know there's just something about me i just can't be i just can't be happy on the outside i don't know why it's just it's just who i am as a person but you know it's just good it's good good um Crazy. It's crazy where we're living these days, you know. It is. It's scary though as well though. Say for it's scary growing up as well because you know there's it's not easy. Um but you know just I'm very I'm very grateful. I am. I'm very grateful for what I've got. And I, I always will be. Say for whether whether it's my channel, whether it's for what I do and stuff or, you know, in, in general my family you know i'm very grateful for what people do for me i always will be and you know it's like me though i'm very passionate about stuff in general though i can't i hate losing like watch my fifa career mode streams jesus i go absolutely ape if i lose a game of fifa on career mode or even in ultimate team 
But yeah, I'm, I'm worse in football though. I've got, I've got, I've grown worse in football over the years. I, used, I used, obviously, you know, as a keeper, you've got to talk quite a lot. You know, your back four and your whole team. And I just scream. I literally scream, top of my voice, at them. Just try and make them do a job. But you know, you just got to do it. You know, you, you've got to be a doer. And you know, if you're not a doer, then you won't get far. That's what I say to myself sometimes. If you're not a doer, you won't get far. So. You know, you got, you got sometimes you've got to wake up, get off your ass, and do what you need to do. Sometimes I hate doing it because it's like me. I I I put off my car sometimes. I never like enjoy. I never enjoy cleaning my car, but I've got to do it because I just can't stand it being dirty. Cause it just it bugs me. It's not OCD. No, it's not. It's not having OCD, but it's just there's just certain things I've got to make sure. I done and I've got to be organized. It's like football. I always go football early. I'm always the first one there, regardless. Like before, obviously, you know, and I wouldn't say I was, but you know, have having my own car and responsibilities, you've got to be organized. And I've got to be organized. You know? It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done sometimes, people. It's gotta be done. But yeah, you know, it's it's crazy. But you know, I am say for I am very grateful for Obviously, what you guys do for me on a, on a daily basis, whether it's like, you know, whether it's in the streams, you know, and videos and whatever, I am very grateful for what you guys do for me. And obviously, I wouldn't be here, as I said at the start of the video today, without having you guys behind me all the way through my journey of my YouTube career. You know, it's been, it's been tough. And obviously, I took my experience, obviously, in my personal life, obviously, on YouTube and you know, I think it's been I think it's been quite good looking back at the old old me compared to the new me. And, you know, I say far, I'm still learning to this day still how to be a better person. Daily, I am. You know, I'm not always gonna be perfect, but you know, I'm in a lot better in a lot better headspace than I used to be. And it's good to be able to say that because it is. It's just it's nice to be able to say it, because it is. Um But yeah, you know, I so far though, I do really I don't carry a dark persona, but I do sometimes carry a persona in a bit of a dark way, which I never used to do. I say for I never really used to in, like when I was younger. I used to never enjoy dark stuff, but like now, ugh, I'm, off, I'm off the scales a little bit sometimes. I can I can go a little bit too far, but I'll never go that extra mile though to go too too dark. It's like me though, my background. Look at my background now. I've got bloody horror film posters all over the show. Obviously, I've got the main man at the bottom here as well, big boy carrying. I can get my finger to watch your point. There we go. Big boy carrying. Yeah, another 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 shout out to him, by the way, because obviously he's another one that pushes me a little pretty much nearly every single day because he does. He, he gives back to people for what they do for him. So shout out to the man himself. But yeah, it's just it's good chat. It's it's really good to be able to talk to people and, and chat about it and obviously talk to you guys behind it. But yeah, as as I said before though, obviously if you guys are obviously experiencing anything bad um and you know it's something that's not right talk to someone about it it's not say for it's not the end product to not be able to go and talk to someone because you're, you're scared to go and do so just do it just go downstairs to your parents or go talk to your best friend go talk to them they'll listen to you they won't they won't shun you away and go oh i won't listen to a score i'm watching bloody eastenders or i'm watching bloody countdown or watching barcelona whatever like go talk to your parents about it it's not not the end product say for anything that's personal that like you need to talk about to someone sometimes just go and do it don't be afraid of it you know obviously i've overcome that now i can do it i can just talk well i wouldn't say i talk to myself but i can deal with it because I'm, I'm a lot older but for like anyone in you know in the in the in the, in the audience now that's watching this video that are a lot younger learning I would I would highly go and suggest if you do need a bit of help, talk to your parents. Probably. That's the that's the that's the number one place to go to your parents. So they'd do anything for you. So that's my advice to you if you do need to go and talk to somebody. But you know, but yeah, just take day by just tell you for take day by day as it is. Just get through every single day, and you'll keep on doing it. And over time, you'll get better. But you know, everything happens for a reason, as they always say. It does. It's mad to explain it, but it is. It's so true. It just happened for a reason. To make you stronger. That's the answer. 
but you know, with a strong mindset, you can go far. So it's good to uh, good to be able to talk about it, really. But yeah, <sighs> honestly, what a sigh of relief it is just to get, just to let it off my chest. Honestly, it it makes you feel so much better when you talk about stuff. It does it really does help you, um, and it's good to be able to go and do so. So quite happy, but yeah. Anyways, um, I'm not going to go, you know, I'm not going to tell you now to go and subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, etc. I'm just going to leave it there. Which I'm just going to leave it there. Do what you want to go and do, though. Feel free to go and do it, but I'm not going to go and tell you to go. I don't want to go and tell you to go and do it, but if you want to, by all means. But that's not the purpose of today's video. The purpose of today's video is to help other people out there. And... Obviously, give you guys my experience and what I used to experience when I was a lot younger, and talk about it because obviously I need to because I know I wanted to. Um, because I think it's right to do so as well. That's that I I always say it to myself. It's always right to do something sometimes, whether it's like helping someone or just in general right to do so. I just do it. Um, but yeah. Also, um, apologies as well yesterday for not doing a stream on. Sunday, I was just all over the show with other things. I couldn't get time to do it. Sounds like an excuse, but I was generally very busy to yesterday to go and do it. I just couldn't do it. Um, but I will try and get some more streams up as quick as I can and when I can. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I will let you all go. But yeah, thank you for watching this video though. Um, and I hope obviously everyone watching this video is doing okay. If you need anything as well, feel free to go and message me on Twitter. It's obviously Discord, Instagram, and I think that's it, I think, for social media that I give out personally, I think. But yeah, say for if anyone, if anyone needs to talk, they'll just talk to me if you need to as well, because I'm always here. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll catch you guys soon. Take care. Um, as always, and I will see you guys hopefully around again on the channel, whether it's a stream or a video or whatever. But yeah, thank you very much though for also um supporting me. Have you been here for you know whether you've subscribed for certain content, whether it was like you know FIFA or wrestling or Call of Duty or just in general, thank you for being a part of this, you know, the channel and my community because. Thankful. I do love you all. And, you know, whether or not I got you to subscribe to my channel for a reason, I hope that reason was a good... I hope, I hope that reason was for a good reason, not a bad reason. But, yeah, anyways, I will... Uh, I'll be going now, but I will hopefully, hopefully see you all again shortly. So, yeah, we'll catch you guys soon. Take care as always, and from me, peace.